Hello and welcome everybody. It's been a while, but we're going to do a recording right now. Uh, trying to draw some faces. Alright, so I'm going to pick a brush here, and sorry if I have a little bit of the sniffles. I'm going to pick this brush. It's a medium sized brush. And uh, yeah, let me move this thing real quick. I'm having some setup issues. I just moved, just got married, just got back from a honeymoon. So that's why there haven't been any videos in a bit. But we're back. Okay, so let me, now that it's all set up, we're going to start off by making some construction lines. So here's what we're going to look for when we're drawing faces. First and foremost, we're going to start with construction. So let me write that down. Some construction. Then we're going to go into adding some slight detail. So uh, slight GHT don't want to misspell on video details and those are things like okay where do we want the eyes where do we want the nose how long do we want everything and lastly we're going to go into some more detail or the complete detail a lot of people just call this your your lines so usually people would say that these two first ones these two right here are the construction lines and then this is your line work and then you have one more which is your inking which is the final product but we're not going to go that far we're just going to go into some complete detail and today we're just going to work on front view so this is going to be front front view oh goodness that was disgusting view okay so that's what we're going to look for and Let's get started. I'm just going to shift this canvas over here. Uh, actually, I'm going to keep it there. And I'm just going to move this over. All right, we'll start off with this blue layer. We're going to start off with a simple. Actually, no, on this layer, we'll turn it. We'll turn it blue. We'll turn this one's opacity a little bit down. Hopefully, you guys can still see it. And I'm going to start with the construction line. Now, most people, when they're drawing, would try to draw some form of a circle. They would try to draw a face on that, and that is not what you want. I mean, that looks cute, but that's not realistic. And we're not going to go for full realism, we're going to go for semi-realism. If you guys hear noises in the background, it might be my cats. I just got cats. I'm a cat person now. So what we're going to do is, for semi-realism, for like comic books or TV shows like, uh, I don't know, like Avatar and stuff like that, um, you want a semi-realistic. You don't want it full realistic. It always tells me this, and I always tell it to, and don't show this message again. It just doesn't remember. So we're going to go into full realism. Um, I'm sorry, slight realism. I got thrown off there. So we're going to start off with, instead of a circle, instead of one of these things, we're going to start off with an oval shape. So we want like a point here, and then we want like an oval shape. So I'll make kind of a large one there and it's it's okay if it's not perfectly symmetrical the first time around you could do it many ways you could do one one take try to get it in once or you can try to do these things where you feather the lines and then you just erase them later I don't like doing that either I've gotten more and more used to just doing the one and then trying to just fix a little bit underneath okay so here's my guy and uh, this is the front view of course so now we're going to start dividing the face and most people and I'll draw what most people do is they do a circle and then they divide the face and they divide it like this here's where your eyes will go that was horrible here's where your eyes will go I'll try to move my computer a bit and then here's how big the nose is going to be nose is going to be this big and then the mouth so they'll do that then they'll go in and say alright well here's my eyes here's my nose and here's my mouth and that looks decent but then what happens is you have you know where do you put your ears do you put them here or do you put them up here and where do you put the hair that's it and this gigantic chin down here so we're not going to do that. That's kind of like an amateur style. We're going to learn something a little bit different, which is um, something I picked up by watching 
uh, Todd McFarlane and Greg Capullo and artists like that is you cut the vase in half. So you cut this almost completely in half. It's a little bit more on the bottom than on the top, but that's okay. Um, and then you cut that half in half again. And then you cut that bottom half in half one more time. So what I'm doing is I'm taking the whole thing, slicing it in half, or a little bit higher than half, then taking this whole bottom half and slicing that in half. And then lastly, we take the bottom third now, and we're cutting that in half. So we have these disproportioned or different sized shapes. And um, we're going to start using our anatomy. So you're drawing with one hand. With the other hand, you're going to feel your face. And I know it sounds weird, but you're going to do it. Um, so this is our basic stuff. Now what we're going to do is we're going to want to see how big we want to make our lines. And if you heard that, that was my cat jumping. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to make some line work now. And what we're going to do is we're going to want to put an eye on both sides. But another thing that people have a problem with is how far apart should the eyes be? Should they be very far apart or slightly more narrow together? Well, I'll tell you some tricks that I learned by watching them is that the distance between two eyes has to be the shape of one eye. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a box, maybe around right here. We're going to make another box about the same size. There it is. And then one more box. And there we go. That's about right. So all three boxes look about the same size. Okay? So this means that you have an eye on the left, an eye on the right, and an imaginary eye in the center dividing them. And if you look in the mirror right now, where you take a picture of yourself and you pull it up on your computer, you'll notice that the distance between one eye and the other eye is about one eye's distance. So now that we have that, we're going to add our nose structure. Now, I'm going to do it this way first. I'm just going to draw little lines here, like a rectangle. And there's my nose. Okay, so everything is happening, if you notice, on the bottom half of the page, on the bottom half of the face. And that's important. And we'll get back to anatomy and why this is incorrect in a bit. So now we have our nose, our eyes. This is our boxes where we're going to draw our stuff in in a little bit. And now we want to know how big to make our how big to make our mouth. And that was my cat jumping down. Stop it, whiskey. So our mouth is going to go right here. And I'm just going to make it a little bit bigger than my nose. Almost like it hits the center line of the eyes. You can see that almost, almost, not quite. My tablet's acting weird right now. And then under that, we're going to have the chin. So I'm just going to draw a line. That'll be my chin. Okay, so here's our basic structure. Now, where are we going to put our ears? Well, if you look at a picture of yourself or look in the mirror, turn your head to the side and try to see your ears will match up with your nose. So if you feel the bottom of your ear or your earlobe and you follow that along your face, you'll notice it matches with your nostril. So we're going to draw here these two little like that. And that's the shape, the size of your ears. So that should be anatomically pretty accurate. And of course, on top we'll have hair. So I'm just going to give him a simple, probably a side comb later. So I'm just going to do this. Have a little coming in and then going out. Something like that. Kind of looks like me right now with the acne. Nice. All right, so here's our face. And here's what we're going to do. We're going to take it. Grab it. Uh... Reduce selection by more. Okay. Reduce. No, reduce. Yep. And I want to move it and make it bigger. That's what I want to do. And there we go. That's about right. So now we're going to move it. And I'm just going to move it down here. That's all I'm going to do. So I have more room and I can blow it up and make it bigger if I want to. Perfect. So let me scooch this down. And one of the advantages of working digital is that I can uh, undo that. Keep the aspect ratio. There we go. I can move stuff around. I can make it bigger or smaller or whatever I want to do. Okay. Now it'll clean it up. And there we go. So here's our construction line. So let me label this label. 
construction. Okay. This is our construction work. This is what we're going to work with. Now, we said at first that we're going to do construction and then after some slight detail. So now we're going to go back in on a separate layer. Well, I'm going to do it on a separate layer, and this is going to be some um, some big ideas. That's what I'm going to label it. There we go. And I'm going to leave this one black and bring the opacity on this bottom one down a lot. Now, if you're working in pencils, it's a good idea to make your construction lines as light as possible. So hopefully you guys can see that. I'll leave it a little dark. I would usually lower it to about 20%, so about there, so I can barely see it. But because I'm filming, I'm going to leave it around there. And now what we're going to do, here we are is we're going to go back in and we're going to put in some big ideas. So these are ideas, let me make it blue actually. These are ideas that we want to use for our our final product. So this is talking about what kind of hair we want to use, what kind of nose, and basically what kind of eyes, what kind of mouth. And we're going to go for a semi-realistic, so I'm going to give it, try to give it some nostrils here. I'm going to have to use a thicker pen so you guys could see it. Normally I would reduce the size of the pen but we'll use the same one all right so here's how I'm gonna do my nose I have my rectangle usually I start with my nose I have my rectangle and all I'm gonna do is on the bottom make a V and there we are I'm actually gonna leave it black you guys can see it a lot better if it's black there you go make a little V and it's okay if it's not perfectly symmetrical. Nobody's face is perfectly symmetrical. So now I have my V. That's good. That's my the beginnings of my nose. And I might want to make a little bridge here. And I'm just trying to follow the lines here a little bit and kind of eyeball it. And there are different kinds of noses. And I'll probably do an entire video dedicated to eyes, another one dedicated to nose, mouth, because those things are unique and that's what defines our face. Uh, next, I'm probably going to do the nostrils here, so I'll just do like a sideways U on both sides. Something like that, not too closed. That looks kind of nice. And then I like to add a little bulge here. There we go. So now we have our nose. And you can kind of see that's already taken shape. That already looks quite nice. And all we did was make some V, a U, and add a little bit of bulge couple of lines here and there and I'm using an, a really weird pen right now just because of the recording but it's okay it works and now for the eye and there are different ways of doing eyes um, I'm a big fan of Batman so I like to do the kind of droopy sad sad eyes like this where you know you got this thing going on Let's see if I can do that and then erase something like that right you can do that kind of eye or it really just depends on you I mean other people do the round eye right I, I try not to do that because that's a very shocking thing no one's eye really looks like that in real life so we're gonna go for a little bit more of a mix between these two and the way I'll do it is I will remember this isn't our final product this is just us laying down our big ideas so I'm gonna make the ball of the eye the size of the square or the rectangle and let me make it like this I'm trying to do it in one shot sometimes you have to do it several times and that's okay try to do it the other way do I get a better look a little bit one more time and one more okay that looks fine alright so now we have our eyes okay those are our eyeballs, and our eyeballs are much bigger than what we actually see. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to add a contour line, like a lazy U, in the top and in the bottom. In the bottom and in the top. And I try to make the top one longer than the bottom one if I can, if I remember. There we go. And this eye does look a little bit bigger than this one. So I'm just going to grab it. And... Stretch it back. That looks about right. And move it down, try to align it. And I'm just eyeballing it. I don't want to get too crazy with this stuff. You can spend all day trying to do this. Alright, so 
we have our eyes basic structure um, and we can add the black here I'll add some black and that's okay if it doesn't look perfect this isn't the final product we have our nose we have our eye we kinda need some eyebrows so I'm just gonna add some in and I'm trying to stay close to these lines but if you ever look at your eyebrows they always have a shape like a U shape so try to follow that you know don't go crazy but try to follow that and I'm just gonna leave it thin thin eyebrows for now just to show me where they're gonna go next is the mouth and I have kind of a wide mouth sometimes you'll see you know very small petite mouths with like big lips on them that's a lot for for women and uh, when drawing men usually you draw much more defined bottom lips but much wider mouths and stuff like that so I'm gonna do something like that I'm just gonna draw this guy kinda smiling so we have our central line and I'm gonna draw the bottom lip here the bottom lip sorry I talk all day and then I like to draw the the indent and that's it that's all I'm gonna do for the mouth normally when you look at your lips you tend to have this shape to it but with men you don't really want to show the full shape you want to less is more with men it's more about defining what it looks like this is more of a man's lip right here something with less shape more kind of flat so something like that and later you can add color or shadow and that will really help but we're not gonna worry about shadow today we're just gonna worry about the lines so we have our mouth there he's smiling and then we're gonna bring the chin up I like to make chins a little bit rounder this guy has a pointy face so I'm gonna try to follow these contour lines but notice something that I'm gonna do where the nose ends or this contour line meets the outside so here I'm gonna curve in a little bit because everyone has a little bit of a, of cheekbones and we have to kinda show that not too much just a little bit and here we have our chin I'm gonna make it a little bit rounder don't want him to hurt anybody with his chin unless he's a superhero the chin and then just follow the lines follow your lines from earlier try to make them symmetrical if you didn't earlier see here I tried to make it more a little bit more symmetrical on both sides and now let's go back to the ears and the ears are pretty basic from the front you're kinda of looking at like a very lazy M on both sides and then you're gonna make kind of like a weird where your earlobe uh, your earlobe and then you have that front part that covers your ear where your hair meets your ear so it's kinda of like you have one of these things in front and then behind it you have this in the earlobe now that ear is a bit too small so I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger here don't want them to have weird ears something like that's fine again I'm not going for perfection this time I'm just going for something that looks semi decent want it to be symmetrical uh, I'll take it I'll take it why not alright so here's our big ideas so far so we'll just follow this line up and your eyes tend to be curved inward on your head so I like to add a couple of contour lines here this will help guide the hair too then you have sort of these lines outside of your head this is like the front forward slope of your eyebrow and your skull and then your skull has these little indents in it if you've ever seen a skull right so I can draw like a very basic skull here so we have the teeth right this is all black then we have like the eye indents right so that's all indented the nose right and we have teeth on the top and then this see that that's a skull on its sort of three-quarter view so we're showing this with these we're showing these cheekbones that you'll find here on skulls with these and then we are indenting the eyes by showing these lines and that'll be guided with the hair too your hair tends to form around your skull right and then you have your ears right here where your jaw upper upper skull meets your mandible here 
Okay, cool. Um, a little bit of an anatomy never killed anybody. So we're learning a little bit as we're going. And I said I was going to give him a side comb, so let me just toss some hairs in. And I'm not going to worry too much about hair because, you know what, that's a topic for another day. So let me just toss this in here. There we go. Just a little bit to show that it's flowing hair. It's not completely short. And now notice we have the top half of our head. That will be the rest of our hair. And we can flatten it a bit. I like to flatten my skulls a little bit to give them a little bit more of a of a lived-in look, like someone's been living in that skull and it hasn't just been, you know, empty. There we go. And now, just add some neck. And usually I try to add it where I think this would go in and meet this, this line here. So if I were to draw this back right here, right there, that's where I would do my, my neck, so about right here. And I just, there we go. And now if I turn off my construction, you can already see, hey, that looks pretty good. That looks really good. Now we're going to clean it up. We're going to do the last big thing, which is complete detail. That's the last thing. We're not going to go into line weights and inking and all that. We're just going to do some details. So this is going to be our, um, our finish lines. There. We'll just call it that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off my construction. I don't need it right now. Um, turn this into a bluish color. There we go. Lower the opacity. Again, I would lower it way more, but for the purpose of the video, I'll keep it kind of high. And then we're going to go in with a brush that we really want to use. Do I want to use this one? Probably not. Um, but I guess for the video, I'm going to have to. So. And when you're doing finish lines, if you're doing them with real pen or pencil in, in real life, not on digital, you really want to be careful. You really want to be careful. Try to make lines in one attempt. Don't go too slow because then you'll get this, this happening where you go slow and you start squirming. You don't want that. So don't go too slow, but don't go too fast. I'm going to make my lines a little bit bigger this time. Okay, so I'm going to start with the eye. I'm going to fix that. Make this top line very thick. So I like the thick top and then the much thinner bottom. And if you notice, I kind of leave it, I don't exactly trace. I kind of make it up as I go. I use those as guides. I don't use them as, this is what I must do or I will die. So there's my guides. And here's that. And then there's that. And then there's this and that. And I'll make this one kind of thick too because this one I made too small. Okay, color that in, color that in, and because I'm in digital, I can uh, I can play around with the eraser and add some speculars in there if I want to. That's okay. All right. Now notice the nose. I didn't draw everything, and that's fine. I'm gonna add here, add this here. There we go. Do this part, these little U's, and then the guiding lines here these coming off. Try to imagine this line just kind of continuing a little bit. And there we go. And I'm just roughing it. Very, very rough right now. And try to get this line. Getting these straight lines to go perfectly is always an issue. There we go. This is going to be my final product. So I'm going to make this chin a little bit bigger. And shrink these lines. See that? I, 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 went, I indented way too much. There we go. And here's this part. There we go. That looks pretty nice. Again, I'm kind of speeding through it because I don't want to bore you guys to death with watching me draw some guy. Not very interesting. And my ears look kind of deformed. I'm just going to leave it for now. Draw in my eyebrows. And how I like to do them is kind of rectangular and then tapered off at the end. Oops, it's too sharp. So I will do that. And then here too. A little bit thicker to start and then tapered. And it's not really proportional, that's okay. It's just for 
to show you guys the ideas. It's not life or death. I'm not getting paid. <laughs> All right, and now on to the hair. Let's add some hair here. Obviously, I like to not comb my hair in real life, so I like to draw my guys like me with hair that's not really combed. It's just kind of doing what it's supposed to do by accident. And if you don't believe me, you can talk to my wife. She is amazed that I still have a job because I never comb my hair. <laughs> okay, and I, I decided to round it a little bit. It looked a little bit too flat. So here we're going to do this. And try to draw in the direction of the actual line art. Like, if you notice the skull is going down, you know the hair is going to flow down. So don't draw upward, draw downward. And then we're going to add our neck here. Oh, that looks deformed. There we go. And, oh. And a little bit lower. There we are. So there we are. And I turn off my big ideas, and I have a basic shape. I can even add some shadow here if I want. There we go. And a little bit of shadow right here. And a couple of lines here to indicate a little bit more age. Don't want them to look too weird. And here we are. This guy's smiling. So I'm going to bunch these cheeks up a little bit. Try to draw a little bit of lines. And there we go. It's kind of got a little smirk. It's kind of like, yeah. And there you are, ladies and gentlemen. So what did we do? Let's review real quick, and then we'll be done. We started off with basic, basic construction. All we do, we make, and let me bring up the opacity here on this guy. You guys can see him perfectly. There we are. And on this guy as well. There we are. Perfect. Our basic construction lines, we start off with kind of like an upside down egg. And kind of, I did it pointed for a pointy chin, but you can obviously do, you know, one of these things if you want a flatter chin or if you want a Batman chin, you make this whole thing very square and then you kind of give him a butt on his face. So that's your inverted egg. You cut it almost in half. Half perfectly would be around here. And so I, I put it a little bit higher just to give it more of a of a flat right if we do this if we're doing this then we have a lot more a lot more hairline a lot lower hairline but if we do it a little bit higher then we have to have less hairline to compensate that means kinda like his head is tilted a little bit higher up and in this one he's a little bit lower down. Alright, so we did that. We added three squares here. Or another way to do it is to, and I'll do it here on the side, make another line right there, however wide you want your eyes, and divide it into three. One, two, three. And you know you're not going to draw all the way to the edge, so obviously make three equal sized rectangles. So this one, this one, and this one. And the center one's going to end up getting erased. So are these guys, and you end up with eyeballs. And then the center one also guides your nose, for the most part, unless you want a really fat-nosed guy or a really thin-nosed guy. So my nose is another rectangle. And then my mouth, I just draw rectangles to indicate where I want to put it. And then my chin, I usually just draw a line. Once I have my construction lines, remember my ears match up with my nose. I go into my big ideas. And all we did was input some circles inside our rectangles to indicate the eyes, some eyebrows on top, simple lines, a line for the mouth. We draw in a little V and a couple of U's. A little V, a couple of U's, and maybe some lines here to indicate the roundness of the nose. And follow the contour lines. Give them some cheekbones. Remember, we have a skull. Give them some cheekbones. Give them some hair. Remember to draw in a little bit of the ears here. And then once we're done with all that, we add on top our finished lines. And there we are, ladies and gentlemen, from our starting point to our finishing point. Now, in pencil and paper, you would probably stop there at this point. So you would probably have something like that and then start inking really quickly before you start staining your paper. 
So remember to draw on pencil and paper very lightly for your construction lines. And for your first big ideas, draw a little bit darker. And then your finished product can be very dark. This will help you reduce any eraser smudging and stuff like that. So I hope this was a, a good tutorial for you guys, a good help. And obviously I'm not a pro. I'm still working on this stuff. So the next video will probably be about three-quarter view, which is something that I have a problem with, or side view, complete profile view, which is another thing that I'm not very good at. So we'll be learning together. Thank you guys for watching, and hopefully you guys will tune in again. Thank you.